Hi, my name is Shani, and this is my Suzuki Jimny, or as everyone likes to yell at me, hell yeah! So the registration plates are actually named after one of my favourite bands, which is American supergroup metal band called Hell Yeah. And I got into them about seven years ago, thanks to my then best friend and now my partner. All right, so besides the plates, there's also the mud flaps, which I've drawn myself using paint pen, and they have the logo of the band. And there's also some stickers in the back windows that also match the band. Well, when I first looked at getting a four-wheel drive, I initially looked at getting a Shorty GQ Patrol. And I was adamant I wanted a short wheel base. I thought I just love the shape and the look of a short wheel base and I love their maneuverability and how they can work. And then I came across a Suzuki Jimny and I'd never thought of them as a four wheel drive before. But I found this advert for this one, obviously not looking a bit different to how it looks now. And I fell in love with it instantly. I went to check it out at the person's house about three or four times and eventually uh, we managed to agree on a price and I took it home and I've been in love with it ever since. Almost everything it has on it now has at some point been replaced by me or added by me. <laughs> I've actually had to build it twice. Uh, so pretty much everything. Uh, the AIB bar was already on it, but I've cut it. <laughs> and the rims, they were already on it. Uh, well, I found that the original uh, AIB ball bars sit quite far back and um, I was hitting it with my tyre and I wanted a little bit more space out of that. So modifications were required. <laughs> I've probably gone too far with this one. A little bit, a little bit over the top. <laughs> they probably don't all need to be chopped or have 31 inch tyres on them, but this one did. I felt it, then it had to. Oh, beforehand it used to have um, some silver sewn mud, mud tyres on it when I first picked it up. And they were great tyres, really chunky and good looking tyres, but the road noise is unbelievable and they wouldn't deflate to save their life. The Jimny's not heavy enough. So I'd put it under 10 and they would still be fully inflated looking. <laughs> So I needed some tyres that were a bit more practical <laughs> and the Mickey Thompsons kind of sold me on that. Okay, so I've added a CV radio, uh, the spotlights, the work lights that are out to the sides, they're more like rock spotters because I've fallen into one too many dark holes at night and I needed a bit more light on the sides. Uh, I've replaced the LEDs and the indicators. Uh, going backwards, the sliders and scrub bars and the rear bar are both by on-track fabrication. They were done at the same time and I can't fault them, they don't shift, they're ridiculously strong. Okay, so it's got air lockers front and rear and an air compressor under the bonnet. Under the bonnet I've also got an engine conversion to a 1.8 litre Suzuki Liana engine. It's got a custom radiator which is bigger and metal <laughs> and a thermo fan to the back of that. And it's got a dual battery system by Red Arc.
uh, so my Jimmy does take me everywhere. It may lose a few pieces on the way, but it gets me where I need to go. <laughs> a little bit of everywhere, to be honest. Um, my favourite is down south. So I love going down south. The weather is, it gets a little chilly, but it's always beautiful. Everything's so green. And there's so many beautiful spots that are so close to Perth. I do, I think the Jimmys are the best cars in the world, but I think I'm very biased in that point of view. <laughs> Not everyone agrees with me, but they obviously haven't had one yet. The new one is more what, hmm, what's the best way of putting it? It feels like the new one should have been released between this one and the old Sierras. It feels like it was an interim piece that didn't happen. And then it's an obviously new shape kind of reminds us of a few other cars on the market. G-Wagon. Yeah. Well, there's, there's going to be a, there's going <laughs> there's going to be a lot of kits available to transform it into a mini version of whatever you want it to be, and that's probably pretty cool to be honest. There's the, yeah, the Defender one, there's the G Wagon one, and there's a Bronco one as well now. I've seen a Bronco version of what you can get for the new Jimny, and that one actually did look really good. <laughs> I did yeah. like the front end. The front end looked good on that. So very soon you can get a shiny kit. And what it's going to do is going to give you all this bar work and this really awesome rear bar, and you can make the new one look almost as cool. I do, I do have one, it's not the happiest story. Um, everyone's got happy stories for we're driving various places. My Jimmy I've, I've had to build twice, I mentioned earlier. Um, that's because I trusted the wrong mechanic once. And for months I hadn't seen the Jimny, I was asking questions. He couldn't tell me anything. Eventually we found the Jimny missing a whole heap of parts and basically a rolling shell behind his house. Uh, we took it to mechanics. They didn't want to work on it. None of them wanted to be liable given how many parts were missing. The engine was a mess. There was pieces everywhere, bits missing. It was pretty bad. Um, it took about a year, including that period of time, to rebuild the Jimny back to what it is now. It looks very different now because I've added more parts and I wanted to really make it something special because beforehand there was ideas that I had that I hadn't initiated and I thought I want, it deserves to be treated well. <laughs> it deserved a gift. And that's when I got all the bar work done after getting it all fixed up and the bushwhacker flares. I've really enjoyed it. You guys are really funny and really easy to get along with. And this place is insane. It's so stunning. This is my four drive and this is my story. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! No, I can't do it again. Hell yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh... Hell yeah! Yes. <laughs> do it like Shadi did. <laughs> what, tongue out? I need red hair, don't I? <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to play with my toy car. <laughs> it would have been so awesome if there was a fire burning, but don't have time for that. Yeah, there's an empty, there's an empty shotgun shell in there. <laughs> on that mood, I'm going to claim it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me look more badass, right? <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Sunny's on, sunny's off. I'll have them on, we'll see what it looks like. No, no one's gonna care. <laughs> Does my bum look big in these? <laughs> you do realize this is this is all end, gonna end up in the bloopers. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> it's got a compressor. <laughs> so why are we doing it with a Jimny again? Come on, I know you've got a new car and you like showing it off, but do we have to do it with the Jimny every single time? Yes. <laughs> it hasn't even got real tires on it. <laughs> So the plates are named after my favourite band, which is a metal group called Hell Yeah. Um, they play... They do. Where are they from? They're from everywhere. <laughs> I've been listening to them. 
probably too long. <laughs> Bobby makes a movie, take one. It was in recording. Do it oh. now. Do it now. Bobby makes a movie, take one. Take one hundred. Take one. Take two. Take two. <laughs> I don't know if I can. <laughs> You got, you got it. We got one out of me. I don't know if you can get a second one. <laughs> yeah, but I had to re relive this when you released the episode. <laughs>4 drive magazine. Good, 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 good. I just keep saying four wheel drive magazine instead. There's no That's R on the right. end. Australian. Australian four wheel drive uh, magazine. Drive. This is my four drive and this is my story. Go home! Done! Close the window! <laughs> Close the window, get a Hell yeah, that was a cool video. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching Shani and her Suzuki Sierra. Be sure to check out the channel and see our other cool videos, especially episode one of My Four Wheel Drive My Story. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got a few other awesome videos for you to check out. If you'd like to have your car featured in My Four Wheel Drive My Story, make sure you get in touch with us so we can either choose to ignore you or to uh, potentially have you on the show. Bobby, get a real four wheel drive. <laughs>